morning, everybody. Happy New Year. It is January 1, 2022. Oh my goodness, it finally came upon us. Let's get ready for a wonderful year. And thank you all for joining me. And uh, my moderator for today is um, not available. So I'm going to try to handle this all by myself on a Saturday. Um, the stats, first of all, wow, we ended the year just tremendous with 131 sales every day in December. And for the whole year of 2021, every day we sold 138 to 139 homes. And that's absolutely awesome. And I better do my sound check. Oh, please. Oh, please. Had, uh, had to get a few things done this morning uh, since Max wasn't going to be here. So it took me a little while to get started. Uh, but if you can't watch, uh, there we go. We're on. Okay. <laughs> it's all good. Anyway, great year. Just a fantastic year for everybody. You know, we did 50,683 sales in 2021. And if you take that times two, let's see, that would be uh, over 100,000 sides that real estate agents got paid on. And that's just resales, not counting the new homes. And we sold about 1,000 of those a month average. So we all should just be so blessed. And we're going to start 2022 the same way. Um, we listed 108 homes. That means uh, all varieties, high rises, condos, single family homes, townhomes. Um, and we put 132 under contract. Now I did these stats since Friday uh, <clears throat> or since Thursday, because when I did my show Thursday morning, they didn't reflect what you did on Thursday. So this is really two days and then 233 closings. And of course, most of those run Thursday. However, a lot of times people don't um, update the MLS, uh, you know, that early in the morning. So again, uh, 233 for the end of the year, last two days. And that gives us 21 days of available inventory. Now we're going to see what happens with listings this coming uh, next couple of weeks and see if we can get our inventory back up to at least a month worth of inventory. I think we can do it. I think we will do it because people take their homes off the market during the holidays, as you know. And um, yesterday, what I, uh, to me, the biggest news here <laughs> is our median price in December was $430,000. And that's 8,000 higher than November, you know, which was 10,000 higher than October to the point that if you bought a home in January and you paid $347,000 for it, your home went up in value about $60,000. That's just absolutely, uh, let's see, is that right? I need Jimmy some days to help me. 60 and 30, 90,000. Oh my gosh, that's just unbelievable, isn't it? Let's see. Uh, three, four, six minus 84,000 to be exact. We want to be exact, but that is just amazing. And this was through, uh, the, uh, this was through yesterday. So, um, when applied analysis comes out with their, uh, stats, we'll see how they fare. Um, this, this, cause I don't know when I do these, if it's doing, Boulder City, Mesquite, Pahrump. I don't know because it doesn't tell us. So I went in and uh, did them just for our zip codes that I uh, shared on the group. So this is basically all of Las Vegas, not Mesquite, not Pahrump, not Boulder City. So we'll see. We'll see what applied analysis comes out with. And it takes them a week or two sometimes to uh, aggregate all the data.